Okay guys and gals, I'm going to do a, a review here on a uh, ground blind I just picked up. It's the Primos Double Bull Deluxe. Uh, just got this about two weeks ago and so far so good. Uh, I had been considering the uh, the Rhino blind which is another manufacturer. Uh, reading some reviews and stuff online I, I found out that they actually uh, switched ownership uh, beginning of the year and uh, first and foremost they changed their warranty policy from a lifetime warranty to a one-year warranty and add to that is they're not even honoring the previous purchases that were bought prior with the lifetime warranty and not only that, they raised their price uh, $37. So, went ahead, picked up this double bowl. I actually have an old, one of the original double bowls. So, and actually I'm glad I bought this because this thing is uh, very nice. Uh, a lot of new features. Uh, very good. Still a lifetime warranty. Uh, retailed, uh, my retail uh, purchase was $277. 50 so a little more expensive but uh, in the end I think it's going to be worth it uh, I'm not going to demonstrate it as far as setting it up or taking it down uh, be honest with you uh, the manufacturer does a much better job of that on their website uh, I think they state seven second setup I can do it in ten so as a rookie so not much to that but uh, uh, as far as your uh, review goes, the features, uh, first thing you're going to notice is the camo. Uh, if any of you guys uh, are familiar with Double Bull, uh, they changed their camo here. And uh, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know as far as early season, uh, there's not a whole lot of green in it, but brushing it in, especially for whitetails, should take care of that. Uh, I think it's going to do exceptionally well uh, once everything starts dying off. Obviously, you can tell there's a lot of browns. <clears throat> I'm not going to do a lot of pauses here with this video uh, for the simple reason uh, it takes a lot longer to upload when you break the video up. So uh, there will be a little bit of bouncing here going on. So, but I'll do my best. Uh, second thing you're going to notice is the door. Uh, they did change their door. Uh, no more zipper. Uh, as it's ups or pluses and minuses on that part, uh, the up part is no noise, very quiet. Uh, the downside is there is a few more uh, things you got to go through to open the door. So I'm going to go through that process for you right here. You can see here, there's a couple of clips. Got to go through the eyelets. One. Here's two. There is a buckle when you open. Undo the buckle, the strap, pull down. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed. The, there's a couple of the bungee hooks inside here. Undo those first. Get all the way out of my zoom. But now we can lift, as you can see. Definitely. Uh, this tends to want to, the strap wants to come, oh, move it around here. But, definitely a lot more room in getting in and out. Especially if you're carrying a bow and a backpack. Uh, it can be a little cumbersome on the older type, zipper type doors. Uh, as far as the walk around, Nothing really has changed as far as features on the outside of these. They've pretty much been the same for quite a while, actually. Uh, as you can tell, I'm out in the open here, so uh, I'll take this back in the timber horn at the end of this tape to do a little demonstration on the pattern, the camo pattern in the woods. So, uh, all right, we're going to go in. I'm hoping this will pick up. I might have to pause just to go get a flashlight, but I'm going to take you inside here and show you some features. Uh, 
first and foremost that you're going to see the hubs on these things are much much bigger this one's been set up for over two weeks I've had zero collapses anywhere with this blind tops or sides nothing so uh, definitely a, a pretty good improvement there uh, over here on the door now really don't know the reasoning or its purpose uh, these rods are a good bit bigger than the regular the other just the rods here by the door with the writing on it uh, is a good bit larger than the rest of the hubs or the rods and there's a cable here you can see here runs up uh, I'm guessing for just for tension purposes uh, it is looks like there is some adjustments on this on that this guide here actually will move up and down so I guess uh, as the fabric stretches you can retighten it uh, another big feature a change that they've made that uh, to me personally <laughs> uh, so far is the biggest improvement is these green hooks anybody that's familiar with these blinds in the past the hooks they were pretty they were pretty crappy so big improvement there uh, to me uh, another good uh, I think feature that they've done inside pockets built in there's two of these uh, I'm trying to think uh, the material it seems to be a little heavier than the previous hopefully we can see this uh, I'm trying to think that's really the biggest changes they've made now um, uh, mine the uh, only thing that I did was in the center of my netting right here I added a couple of safety clips pins and uh, cut a little slit here in my net and ran my belt through that slit because prior to that uh, the net wouldn't go any further than this so I'm hoping that's getting on camera uh, so I thought that was kind of I don't know just a pet peeve I guess for me but cut a slit in the net there a little bit undo your buckle uh, run your strap through your net and back back up to your buckle I mean that way you can your net you can give you a little more uh, viewing there as far as your net goes but as you can see it's a uh, uh, great 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 blind uh, very 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 impressed with the features that they've changed or made the changes they made uh, the roof uh, nothing's really changed there hey so it does have a zipper they didn't do anything fancy there as far as the zipper go or opening uh, size uh, I don't I'm thinking they're stating I want to say 60 inches uh, four space which that's pretty pretty good size actually height wise I'm six foot and uh, I'm not quite standing straight up but I would say it's about 60 inches 65 inches I should have saved the box but give you a little more idea but you can go to their website and they give you all that but definitely a uh, an alternative to the uh, rhino blinds like I mentioned earlier uh, a lot of guys you know aren't happy with uh, what they did switching ownership but if everybody knows Primo's uh, been around for a long time I've had good luck with service from them guys not that I've used it a lot but what can you say but that's it fellas ladies I hope this helps all right here we are again I did move it into the timber and I have to be honest with you I'm pretty impressed I'm exactly 20 yards from this blind and obviously you can tell there's still a lot of green foliage and this thing's been landing in pretty nice considering I did mention I forgot to mention earlier uh, missing that and while I was inside there there is uh, some straps along the rods in there that helps uh, tighten the tension on the material as well uh, so just an FYI there for you guys but like I said 
that's it guys hope this helps okay guys uh, figured I'd add a little clip to this uh, review after all as far as after blending it in I'm exactly 20 yards from the uh, Primo's double bull deluxe blind and as you can see she's gold hope you guys check it out man you guys have a good one see ya